What's up, Pizza Holics? Behind me is Town Deli, family owned and operated since 1971. It's one of those everything places. They sell everything. That doesn't mean pizza is gonna suffer because of that. Let's go find out, guys. Let's go eat. All right, folks, let's open this up. Home of the $8 pizza pie. Ordered it, well done, folks. There it is. Looks pretty decent, looks pretty decent. Eight bucks, guys, eight bucks. You get a whole pie, it's about 16 inches, so it's not too small. All right, let's grab one, guys, here we go. Neat separation, pretty neat. A little, eh, not bad. Pretty decent separation, no stretch, not too, you don't get that Ninja Turtle stretch. And uh, crackling on the bend, no flop. Not exactly pale on the undercarriage. Hmm. It's pretty tasty. The crust is a little tough. It's a little tough to get down, guys. All right, ladies and gents, into the lab we go. I'm doing this in the automobile because they started to play music at the deli, and so I, uh, I'm going to go and do the lab segment into the office, baby. So let's get started, guys. I was a little impressed. First and foremost, I went in with low expectations given the price of the pizza. $8 for pizza plus tax. You're going to go in with low expectations. Because if they're selling this thing for 8 bucks, it's very possible that they're using some really bad ingredients. Guys, this was a pretty decent pizza. This was a very decent pizza. I'm going to start with the cheese. Look how neat these pies, these slices separate. Okay. Usually with greasy cheese, you get that stretch, you get that, um, it's soupy. This was never soupy, guys. It was never soupy. The cheese was tight. This pizza was pretty tight. Pretty tight pizza here. Very tight. Very tight. And it's not like they skimped out on cheese, too. There's a lot of it on there. Cheese had some good funk to it, man. I don't know if they're grating any hard cheese onto it. It kind of tasted like they did because the pizza was really salty. And that's a good thing, guys. You know I never complain when the pizza's salty. And uh, it wasn't like the pizza was lacking in sauce. It was never dry. The cheese to sauce ratio on this thing was pretty damn good. It's a pretty decent crust. Again, I got it well done. I recommend getting it well done because uh, it may turn out a little crispier because of it. Again, the bottom isn't anything crazy, but a nice dark brown bake. Again, gas oven. Now, I had some issues with that sauce. Yeah, there's a nice amount of it. And the cheese to sauce ratio is pretty decent, but it was a little sweet. If you enjoy sweet sauce, you're going to enjoy this sauce better than me. And as a matter of fact, guys, yes, there is grated cheese on this pizza. As you can see there, there is some evidence of it on the sauce. And that's a plus, guys. For $8, they're not cutting corners. And it was also a very herbaceous pizza, which really surprised me. Uh, for 8 bucks, these people are not cutting corners. And that counts for something, guys. Look at all those herbs under the cheese. You see that? There's a lot of oregano on it, and good oregano. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, you could put the oregano on yourself uh, afterward, but look, not all oregano is created equal. That oregano dries out in those bottles that sit on those slice shelves, so fresh oregano is definitely noticeable, and uh, this oregano on this pizza, absolutely noticeable because it was very fragrant. I'm going to go ahead, guys, and say that this is my favorite dollar slice shop the best dollar slice pizza. Not technically dollar slice because they do sell pizza by the slices, but it's like $3 a slice. It's only a dollar slice when you order the whole pie. And uh, it's eight bucks for the pie, a dollar a slice. 
And so, yeah, dollar slice, good stuff. All right, guys, it's about that time. The pizza gets cold. We give it another fold, guys. Let's see if this pizza retains crunch long after cooling. Lost a little bit of its snap. This, this dough is a little tough to get down, guys. It's a little bit on the gummy side. The chew was very, 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 very significant and on the heavier side, guys. The dough was a little gummy. Uh, you know, as you can see, guys, the aeration is uh, not exactly the airiest pizza in the world here, guys. It was a little on the dense, spongy. Uh, it, it was dense. It was dense. Uh, but it was a, a flavorful pizza. Cheese, the, 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 the grated cheese, the, the herbs, wasn't greasy. The ingredients were top-notch. Sauce a little too sweet for my taste, but they didn't skimp out on nothing, man. And it's not like that floppy mess that you get sometimes. I don't think this dough was proofed for too long, guys. But uh, look, there's worse out there. I'm gonna give this a seven too, guys. This is a pretty decent pizza. Not the best. Again, the crust needed work. Despite the lack of flop and the firmness, and uh, it wasn't the heaviest pizza in the world. I've had worse, absolutely had worse, but, uh, you know, not not pale that we're going to move it down a scale or anything like that. And it ain't flopping, so I ain't going to start docking too much. And by the way, folks, you can now join my membership club. All you got to do is hit that join button under each of my videos, and you'll be able to join for just $4.99 a month. You'll have access to loyalty badges, exclusive members only videos, mostly home cooking videos and pizza making videos that I do personally. I already posted a bunch of stuff, videos on my mom's stuff, mushrooms. I totally recommend it. It's going to be worth it, guys. I posted something about her arancini, so join, guys. If you can, guys, hit that like, smash that subscribe button, and uh, happy holidays to everybody. This video should go out before New Year, and so uh, I want to wish everyone a happy New Year. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the comment section for sure. Be well. Keep those bellies full, folks, preferably with some pizza that costs eight bucks for the whole freaking pie. Until next time, this is Antonio signing off.